Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we'll discuss about floating artificial leaves that generate clean fuel from sunlight, water, and CO2. Researchers at Cambridge University have created artificial leaves that float on water and produce clean fuel. The ultra-thin, lightweight, and flexible device produces a carbon-neutral fuel using solar technology that imitates photosynthesis and turns sunlight into food. The device converts sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water into liquid fuel that can be stored while floating. Unlike normal solar cells, which produce an electrical current, this does not. The leaves underwent several successful tests on the River Cam, demonstrating that they could now transform sunlight into fuel as efficiently as plant leaves. This method will also help to decrease the dependency of the world's shipping industry on fossil fuels. Virgil Andre, a researcher, said, Solar farms have become popular for electricity production. We envision similar farms for fuel synthesis, the Times UK reported. She further said that farms can provide water to remote islands, coastal towns, and industrial ponds, and even cover irrigation canals to prevent water evaporation. She said, This study demonstrates that artificial leaves are compatible with modern fabrication techniques, representing an early step towards the automation and upscaling of solar fuel production. The leaves function when water and CO2 are available, and sunlight reaches a panel covered in semiconductor powder. As a result of light absorption, the panel's electrons are simulated, which allows them to combine with CO2. Another researcher, Erwin Reisner, is optimistic that this technology will revolutionize the maritime sector, where cargo ships propelled by fossil fuels transport 80% of the world's trade. The team's aim was to reduce the size of their original design by affixing light absorbers to thin substrates that are impervious to water penetration. The researchers created a micrometer-thin, water-repellent carbon-based coating on top of thin film metal oxides and perovskites, which can be coated in flexible plastic and metal foils to avoid moisture degradation. These artificial leaves need more development before they can be used commercially, including developing a mechanism to extract the fuel from the leaf. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.